I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you editing or basic editing in Reaper. I have an audio file right here, which sounds like this. It's just a simple acoustic guitar that I recorded on this track. Now Reaper calls this an item or a media item, which is basically a container for our audio, our MIDI, or even video. And to edit it, we could drag it around. We could turn on snapping right here in our grid, and it'll snap to our grid like this at bar two, bar three, and so on. Or we could turn those off and it's gonna move freely on the timeline, which is up here. We can copy and paste it like this. And everything we do in Reaper is non-destructive. So these multiple copies are not gonna take up any more room on a hard drive. And they're not deleted if we delete them from here. By cutting them or deleting them, we could still undo at any time. Edit menu, undo cut items, and we could undo multiple times to get it all back just like that. And we could see our undo history under edit, undo history, and we could see all the changes we made and get back to them that easily. Now, the way we edit in Reaper doesn't really require that we choose tools. Up over here in the toolbar, we can do almost all of it right with our cursor. For example, we can grab it and drag it around, but if we want to trim the front, just move the cursor over here and it changes to a trim tool. So we could trim the front like this, or the back on the right side like this, just by moving our cursor to that spot. We can do the same thing with fading. Put the cursor in the upper left corner. Our cursor changes to a fade tool. We can draw in a fade like this. And we can undo it, drag it out, and do the same thing to fade out. and bring it back out to remove that fade. We could also stretch the audio, hold on Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac, and go right here to the left side, see how the cursor changes, and stretch it or constrain it to be faster or slower by stretching on either side. Undo that, and we could also move the audio or the contents in this container without moving the container. Hold on Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac. The tool changes to look like this, and we could just move the contents like this back and forth, which is really helpful for lining up our transients to be right at the beginning of the item, like this. And we could also split our items to edit them. Just put our cursor in the item, type in S, and it's gonna split the item into two pieces, or as many pieces as we want. Then we can copy and paste these to different sections separately, or we could heal all the splits by double-clicking the track, to select them all, go to the item menu and choose heal splits in items. And that heals it all back to being unsplit. Now we could also duplicate by dragging. Hold on control on the PC or command on the Mac and just grab the items and create copies or duplicate them just like this. Now if you notice, when we move the items over each other, 
it creates a crossfade. So this item is fading out as this item is fading in. And that's on by default right over here. But we could turn it off on the toolbar. And now if we move the items on top of each other, it's not going to create a crossfade. Instead, they're both going to play. So in Reaper, we could have multiple items playing at the same time on the same track. And to see it easier, we can go to the Options menu and choose Show Overlapping Media Items in Lanes. So we can see it like this a little better. But both of these items are going to play on this track. And if you want to see it in the same lane, just turn off Show Overlapping Media Items in Lanes. And they're still going to overlap right in the same track. But if we don't want that behavior, we can choose another option. Trim content behind media items when editing. And this is off by default, but if we turn it on and then we edit our items by placing this one on top of this one, it's going to trim this one. See, it got trimmed. Before it was like this. We could drag it over it and it's going to trim this item based on where we drop it. Like this. And now this item is trimmed. So with this option, we're only going to hear one item on each track at a time. So if you prefer working this way, just turn on this option. Trim content behind media items when editing. But it's off by default. Now there's two different types of copying and cutting in Reaper. By default, we would select an item, go to the edit menu and choose cut or copy from here, or use the keyboard shortcuts over here. But we could also choose to add the shift key to that keyboard shortcut to cut within the time selection or copy within the time selection. Let me show you the difference. Again, normally we would copy this and paste it over here. That's going to paste the whole item. But if we create a time selection by dragging over here, then selecting the item, we can cut just within the time selection by adding in Shift. So on PC, it's Shift Control X, and on Mac, it's Shift Command X. And that's going to cut just within the time selection. Then we can paste over here. And it just pastes that piece, not the whole item. But it's very important that we select the items. For example, let's turn on snapping in our grid. Let's select between bar two and bar four. And if we shift cut, it doesn't cut anything because we haven't selected the item. Reaper needs to know what item we want to cut. So you have to create the time selection and select the item to perform this function. But to do this quicker, we can use a shortcut. Let me show you this with multiple tracks. By default, if we right click and drag, we can marquee select items like this. And whatever we choose is going to be selected. But we could also add in a modifier to create a time selection at the same time. So if we hold down Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac, we can marquee select and create a time selection at the same time. So let's do it from bar three to bar eight and also select all these items. So they're all selected and we created a time selection in one move. So now we could shift cut to cut out that section while leaving these pieces over here. 
It's a nice time saver to create the time selection and select the items at the same time. And we could also split our items based on the time selection. So let's create a time selection from here to here, select the item, go to the item menu and choose split items at time selection. That's gonna create two splits at the same time based on the time selection. And we can do the same thing with the keyboard shortcut. Alt on the PC or option on the Mac, right click, drag to create a time selection and also select the item. Then hit Shift S to split the item on both sides, the beginning and the ending of the time selection. And we can also trim our items based on the time selection. Let's say we wanted to trim the front and back of this item. We can create that time selection with the right click drag on just the section we want to keep. Go to the item menu and choose Trim Items to Selected Area. That's going to cut the front and the back based on what we selected. Let's do it again. Use the keyboard shortcut to create that right click drag at the beginning and the end. We can right click the item and then choose it down here. Trim items to selected area. That's going to trim the beginning and the end based on our time selection. And I should also mention most of what we're doing in this video is going to work with multiple items. We could select them by holding down Shift or Control if they're not next to each other, or right click, drag to marquee, select them. Then we could edit them all at the same time. We could trim the left side and they all trim together or the right side. We could stretch them with the modifier, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac to stretch them shorter or longer. And we can move the content inside the items at the same time. So if we zoom in really close, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, we can move the content on all the selected items at the same time. Again, for lining up where the start of our audio goes with the start of the container or the media item. And we could also fade the items that start at the same place or end at the same place, just like that. So it's going to work on multiple items if they're selected. So that's pretty much it. That's editing or basic editing in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.